Exhale, Canada. It's a wonderful time for an exorcism. And I know I've said that quote way too many times on this YouTube channel when talking about games that have been close, but Team Canada has defeated Team Czechia at the final game for the gold medal at the 2023 IIHF World Junior Tournament. Now, this was a game that a lot of people would say Canada could have been perceived as the underdog in. The reason being is that on Boxing Day, you had yourselves a domineering win against the Canadians in a fashion that stunned the entire nation and had fans questioning Canada's goaltending, Canada's discipline, and Canada's overall competency. The Canadians did not lose another game for the rest of the tournament, but their final game, their final challenge comes against the team that handed them the L earlier in the tourney. They beat Team Czechia here 3-2 in overtime after almost blowing the game. They almost lost. They had themselves like two or three very prime scoring opportunities towards the end of the third that they could have ended up blowing, but instead, it's Tomas Milic out of New Westminster, BC, here in the WHL, who stands tall, who gives Canada the opportunity to play in overtime, and it's Dylan Genther, 2021 draftee who had a chance to become a Vancouver Canuck, but the Canucks traded away the pick! Ay ay ay! we already made another video a few weeks ago talking about how Genther Genther is really good, and how the Canucks had a chance to get that, but they said, nah, bro, we'll get Connor Garland instead. We'll get OEL and his long freaking contract instead, because we only care about the now, we don't care about the future. Who cares about the future? Francesco Aquilini wants to win now! And, uh, yeah, no, all Canucks issues aside, let's talk about this game, let's go over some quick thoughts about the goals that were scored, the momentum shift, the play of each of the teams here, because I gotta get this video out quick, I'm gonna go to Community Center Hockey, I'm not gonna watch the Canucks game, unfortunately, for tonight. Canada ends up taking a 2-0 lead on the hands of Dylan Genther on the power play, who ends up sniping a very beautiful shot, Ovechkin-style, off of a cross-crease pass from Brant Clark. He absolutely wires it, it goes right top cheese off the bar and in. It's 1-0 Canada, and the Canadians honestly had themselves what I'm going to say was the better period in the first. Team Czechia was going very hard, and you can see that just the overall play style, the momentum, each of these teams are doing their best to one-up each other, but ultimately it's Canada who escapes the first with the lead. Second period comes, and we have ourselves even more of the same. Some mistakes here and there, some turnovers that probably were a bit more egregious than others, and another selection of really good rushes and shot opportunities opportunities, but ultimately, the only goal scored in the second is scored by Shane Wright, the birthday boy himself. He is now, what is he, 19 years old now? And he actually shares a birthday today with Brendan Othman, who's turned 20. So very good birthday gift for both of these guys. They get a gold medal. Shane Wright gets probably the most incredible individual effort goal we have seen, aside from the Connor Bedard overtime winner against Slovakia, where Wright is pretty much protecting the puck on his backhand, coming down the right side boards, cuts out into the middle, dangles by a guy, and roofs it on the backhand over the goalie and in. It's 2-0 Canada. They've taken control of this game, and there was another scoring chance the Canadians had while shorthanded, where it's Zaka Stapchuk on the boards, on the rush, who centers it out with a beautiful spinorama pass to Caden Bank here, who ends up coming in on goal and taking the goalie, Suhanek, completely out, and the guy looks like he might have torn a groin or something because Bankier lands on the guy's leg. The puck crosses the line, the fans are cheering, Bankier gets up and you can see his facial expression on the zoomed in camera. He does not look like a happy camper, he kind of looks guilty there. But the goaltender is in pain, it looked like he was going to leave the game, but nah, he didn't. He actually stuck it out. Even though the trainer came out, it was helped over to his feet, he stayed in the game and he played lights out for the rest of the entire regulation period. Heck, even in the overtime, he was pretty good too, but aside from that, props over to Struhanek, who had himself a crazy game. He is such a good goaltender, and a lot of these Czech players are very, very good as well. But the third period is where Canada kind of let things slip away from them. They did not have their shut it down and outwork the Czech team game plan on Czech. They ended up getting kind of dominated in a way. 
The Czechs had a lot more momentum, they kind of forced it their way, they were striking off the rush as well, and they forced themselves two goals at the hands of poor breakouts by Team Canada. On the backhand, the Canadians are trying to send it up the boards, but the Czechs hold it in. The first goal, bringing it within one, is a long shot from the point by Edward Chalet. It gets deflected off of Milic's pads, and Yuri Kulik is right there in the slot to pot it into the open cage, bringing the game within one. And the very next shift, just 50-something seconds later, it's Brant Clark on the boards trying to send it up on the backhand. It gets held in by Tomas Hamera. He takes a shot towards the goal. It's tipped over by Jakob Koss, and that tip, which was supposed to send the puck into the corner, ends up going off of Ethan Del Mastro's skate, and it goes behind the goaltender. It trickles in. It's 2-2 with five minutes left in the third, and at the end of the third, you had yourselves an amazing check chance as well, where they threw it towards the goal. Milic was down. He was sitting down flat on his behind with both legs extended forward and the puck is right there in his skates and they're banging away at it trying to force it to go. Milic says no though, he holds it out and eventually it opens the door for a 3-on-3 three -three overtime period where off a steal by Brant Clark he finds a streaking in Dylan Genther who goes over to Wah, a two-on-one opportunity, the defenseman goes down, Wah in front for Genther, he pots it over the goalie, and it's in the back of the net, 3-2 Canada. What an incredible game played by the Czech team that honestly doesn't have the same, like, star power that these Canadian guys do but they were able to match, and they were arguably able to outplay this Canada team for good sections of this game. This could have gone either way, really. Like Bob McKenzie was saying it at the beginning, this has been the most competitive World Juniors he's seen in a while, and I got to agree with you, man. No unanimous winners here. This really could have gone to any of these teams. Sweden could have been in this game had it not been for a turnover, or an icing call, excuse me, by Elias Pedersen in the last minute of that game. Then they still ended up losing the bronze medal game too. So at the end of the day, big props out to Team Canada. Big props to the Czech squad as well. David Juracek, I thought, had a great game. Of course, the goalie, Suchanik, was amazing. Just phenomenal. Outright borderline brick wall over here for Czechia. And I mean, look, this is going to probably get international hockey in a state that it's never been in before, right? If we could start seeing more Czech medals, then I think that's good. Amping up the competitiveness and the ability for each of these teams to be able to compete in a tournament like this. Ultimately, Dylan Genther gets the player of the game, or excuse me, the MVP of the game for Canada. He got two goals and an assist in this one. Very important guy. I wish the Canucks could have had a guy like that, right? Man, Connor Garland is great, but Dylan Genther is just something else, eh? Talk to the comments either way all your thoughts about Canada versus Czechia. I gotta go to Community Center Hockey. It starts in about, what, half an hour or so, so I gotta make the drive over there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.